Hi everyone, I welcome you all. Today we are going to do a 10th grade geometry problem of circle topic which is an interesting question and has more than 3 solutions but we will discuss 3 solutions only. So in this question, in the diagram given, this is a circle with center O, AB is diameter and AB extended to P such that BP is equal to BC where C is point of contact where this PQ touches the circle. QA is also a tangent which touches the circle at point A. We have to prove that OP is equal to OQ. If we join OC, radius, OC radius and tangent at the point of contact will be perpendicular so this is 90. So this point B is equidistant from point P and point C means BP is equal to BC and this OCP is a right angled triangle so uh, and this is hypotenuse so B will be the midpoint of OP because this B will be equidistant from the all three vertices of the right angle triangle here we can prove it like if we draw perpendicular from this point to OC we drew perpendicular and this is 90 so this is 90 this is 90 so these two lines are parallel because BP is equal to BC so this angle is equal to this angle let us suppose this is X so this will be X PC is parallel to this let us suppose this is R uh, BR is parallel to PC so this X is equal to this X because of uh, corresponding angle and this X is equal to this X because of the alternate angles. So now in triangles BRO bro and in triangle BRC BR is common in both the triangles this angle is equal to this angle and this is 90 this is 90 so by angle side angle test these two will be congruent because these two are congruent BO is equal to now this BC now OB is equal to OC is equal to BC so definitely all the three sides are equal and then it will be an equal to triangle angle means this is 60 this is equal to this OA is equal to OC radii this is 90 as radius and tangent the point of contact will be perpendicular this is 90 this is 90 and this OQ is common in both the triangles this triangle and this triangle so these two triangles are congruent so if these two triangles are congruent this angle is equal to this angle but this is 60 if this is 60 and this will be 120 because linear pair 60 plus 120 is 180 and these two are equal equal so this is 60 this is 60 all the three will be 60 60 if this is 60 this is 90 this will be 30 and since this is 60 this is 60 this whole is 60 so 2x is 60 2x is equal to 60 so therefore x is equal to 30 so this is equal to 30 and this is equal to 30 since base angles of the triangle OPQ are equal to each other each is 30 30 we can say that OP is equal to OQ so in method 2 we have joined OC and CA since C is the point of contact and this is tangent this is center so this will be perpendicular and let us suppose uh, this is X so this is x also because bp is equal to bc given and therefore this will be 2x this is uh, this is x and this will also be 2x because ob is equal to oc so base angles are equal base angles of an isosceles triangle now this is x this is uh, angle between the tangent and the chord so angle between the chord and tangent will be equal to the angle subtended by this chord in alternate segment so this is x so this will also be x and if this is x bc subtends this x at the circumference so this 
BC will subtend twice of this angle at the center. So we are getting 6 axis, 6 axis 180, so x is 30 degree, so this is 30, this is also 30. Now these two triangles, these two triangles, triangle OAQ and OCQ are congruent, we have already proved. This is 2x, so these two will be equal and these, so this is 2x, this is 2x, so this is 60, this will be 30, once again this is 30, this is 30, so OP is equal to OQ, or we can prove that OC is common and uh, this angle is equal to this angle, this is 90, this is 90, so these two triangles are congruent, so this is 30, so this will be 30. And these two triangles are congruent so we can directly say OP is equal to OQ. Now in method 3, this is 3. In this method, this is X, this will be X, this is 2X. And uh, since this is X, angle, angle between PC and BC, so this BC will subtend X here also alternate segment theorem now this is 90 and this is also 90 radius and tangent the point of contact will be perpendicular so consider AOCQ these two opposite angles sum is 180 so we can say that AOCQ is a cyclic collateral so we can say that a, we can draw a circle passing through these points so like that so consider this OC as card for this circle OC is subtending X then OC will also subtend X here angles of same segment so here is X here is X so both the angles are equal of this, consider this triangle. So since this is X, this is X. So OP is equal to OQ because the two angles are equal. Therefore we can say that OP is equal to OQ. Hence prove 